Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. And in this episode we have a brand new, fresh army recruited straight from the streets of Paris. We're going to push east and start to provide some offensive action against the Austrians. So let's take them out. And part of the reason for this change in effort is due to the sheer amount of troops being pumped out by the Ottomans and sent against our front in uh, in the Middle East. So uh, I can't necessarily count on a breakthrough happening any particularly anytime soon, so we are going to have to uh, fight it out ourselves. So, okay. So. How it is going to fire into the centre. Our gunners... She might wander up to this rise here. Let's have a look at our elite infantry. 35th foot guards. So next to regular line. They look different. They look they look alright. Yeah, they're okay. But they are guard infantry and they are pretty good. So these guys are gonna go through the town. The mass are gonna push around the left. Oh, God. I don't know how the hell I did that. Howitzers. Artillery. Uh, uh, elites. Ugh. Mass of line. Push around the left. Let's give them some cavalry, but I also want a good chunk of cavalry to push around the right flank. My general is going to follow the centre. Okay. So let's do something like that. As they march along quite merrily, my howitzers are op have opened up. Let's do quick climb shot if possible. Hey, they are actually attacking my guardsmen. Oh no, you don't. Get them in the centre. My the, my mass infantry needs to get a shift on. As does my heavy cavalry. Yeah, bombard that garrison militia. I might get two units attacking these mortars just to provide a bit of counter battery fire because they are still going for my howitzers. Although I suppose actually it makes more sense to attack in the infantry because my guards are on are going to be on station pretty quick to deal with them. So you are in a good position to push up, like so. Help threaten their right flank. You guys are also going to help them to that for that to that endeavour. You men and get in the farmhouse. You guys form up here. So from the farmhouse, we get we do have a good amount of windows facing the enemy. But we also have cover. I mean, they could just destroy the house with their horse artillery. That could just as easily happen. Okay, I do want to knock out most, as much of this infantry as we can to, to uh, open the way. My 
my field artillery still isn't in position, so I fear they may not have too much of an involvement. So you guys can engage through the gap. You can do something, you can contribute. These guardsmen are ready. So you guys are going to be pouring devastating volley fire into these troops. As the quick climb rain in. Let's get my cavalry up. Oh, there we go. So they're in the mass. Mass of troops in the centre, caught in my quick climb trap. That's what I wanted was these guys to push around to somewhere a bit clearer around the flank. Change our artillery targets. Okay, I wanted to charge the provincial cavalry with my heavies, but. There isn't going to be a huge need to do that because they've charged my infantry. The Light Dragoons have fired a horrible volley into their own men. You guys form square. Cassiers attack the provincial cavalry, but be careful because there are cavalry spikes. The Light Dragoons are charging. So the armed citizenry are putting up a fight. These Louisianans are fighting back well, though. Keep opening up, maybe switch to round shot to start to bombard the 25th. The field artillery at the back can finally unlimber. Actually, these light dragoons are being annoying. Let's make sure we're attacking both these skirmish cavalry units. Doing a good amount of damage. Let's see if we can get these crossiers to break away. You guys hit the carabiners. Carabiner. You men finally push up. Firelock Arm Citizenry are holding quite well. So my Hussars, yeah, they're doing okay against the Provincial Cav. This flank has collapsed, so we can then pivot through the woods. Stay in square, you mad fools. Let's make sure we don't target anyone silly with our howitzers. All I want is the 36th to position themselves to fire into the back of the combat and for the 142nd to just hold on. You guys pivot your little front to attack the 25th. So we're not after critical amounts of damage. Like we're not we're not we're not out to uh, massacre them, but we may as well actually. Hussars are actually sparring off against the provincial cav, actually holding their own. Although we aren't gonna we aren't gonna truly annihilate them. Obviously, those armed citizenry units that are routed can't just stay. Routed. Oh, 
actually let's just get all my artillery. You guys all focus on this file lock on citizenry there. Looks like they do want to take this opportunity to, to engage my cavalry. Which, to be fair to them, that is like the most valuable target they can hit. Too bad I got sound bugs. There we go. They've both been routed, and that should be everyone. Those guys only got. They got shattered from the artillery fire alone. But there we go. Victory! For our forces. And our foothold in Northern Europe is a bit more secure. So let's repair, let's get a wall built, let's get you guys replenishing. Yeah, let's have another let's have another dockyard. Good infrastructure. Upgrade the roads. Good. You're in a good position to hit. You can't quite hit that army. You guys get you the spy get forward to Stuttgart. Yeah, not protected. So the Ottoman the Austrian flank here is now well we've got them surrounded now. Which is quite nice. You're down here ready to spar with these Austrian troops. They might march on Paris, but if they do, we've got troops in there specifically to help keep them so safe let's do some upgrades in Amsterdam now we've got a bit more of a secure front so Brussels is nearly 100% converted Amsterdam we can tax you now I mean, to be honest lots of these regions are I mean they're, you're turning them Catholic for me I mean, just keep converting. I'm not going to upgrade this because that's ripe to be raided and destroyed. Let's upgrade the engineer school. So then down here, we may have to do a forced river crossing because we have to. We want to keep pushing. So I think because we're attacking on attacking over a river, we we have to cross, and I think I probably will just because that's the thematic thing to do it would even if they attack which they probably will it would feel not quite right to attack someone on a river battle and then not fight over it so it means artillery up on our side of the bank artillery pushed up Some artillery up front, my howitzers up front. I've got coverage of both fords and the bridge. Well, not as much on the bridge. Doesn't even have any walkways, that's dangerous. Okay, two infantry, two guards, company cavalry, they're gonna rush over ahead to try and secure a bridgehead. And you guys are going to cross this flank. Some skirmish support this side of the bridge with our heavies here. Get everyone over. To be honest, ah, uh, the bridge flank, the bridge is much dodgier than this front. Let's get my spies over here. Yeah, my artillery just keep opening up on. Just keep opening up on their uh, their artillery. My heavy cavalry are crossing to get ready to hit the Mamelukes. The Mamelukes are charging, so that's good. You guys attack those hand mortars. 
I needed to rush over so that we didn't get bogged down in a fight for the bridge. So here come the Mamelukes. But we anticipated this. So this infantry run over here. To split. Let's get those Janissaries out of the fight. Have we got started frame rating already? Let my heavy cavalry clear the way. We haven't got to immediately form lines against the enemy. Their artillery is destroyed, so let's begin to divide our gunfire. If you can break through, that would be excellent. But I fear they're just going to get a bog down in the action. So I want my heavy cavalry... You guys keep fighting. These guys have pivot turned the flank of the musketeers, so that's going to let get, get them. Ooh. Ooh. Frame ratey. Flashy bazooks. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Avoid that. There we go. There goes our quick climb. Attacking their infantry block. Looks like they are focusing on this front. Okay, cavalry lead the bashies away, you guys push up. So get our heavy cavalry. There we go, okay. Get to get our heavy cavalry around to the rear. My French East India Company cavalry, they're doing okay. Well, they're routing now, but... So my bridge is a bit... the bridgehead is a bit vulnerable. So let's give them some... Ooh, that's a great quick climb target there. But let's give them some actual fire support. So these Bashi Bazooks are... I wanted to keep the Bashis... I wanted to keep my cavalry alive so that I could charge into the back of the Bashis, but... Get a set of guns to hit these Janissaries. You men charge the hand mortars. My cavalry keep pushing in. Oh no, I've, I've got fire at will turned on. You guys open up. Um, okay, let's keep my howitzers firing a bit more appropriately. Janissaries have been pushed back, so these men push up. So you, one unit hit the rifles, another unit, get your asses back here. Maison de Roy, attack the Nizam. Oh, yep, 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 I know. Round shot only, attack the rifles. They actually don't even attack the rifles, just stop. Just now attack those Azars. The infantry involved to crush this new unit of Nizam and light infantry.
guard mode off as well, so they will pursue. Be careful of some spikes. I mean, they really didn't want me to cross that part of the map there. Artillery fire, stop. There we go, that's the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards defeated. Which is important, because then they're, they're a very valuable target to chase after next. So those, that Nizam is still alive and kicking. You chase down the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. You guys keep chase down this last unit of Nizam. This last Nizam rifle unit. Another set of spikes back there. So let's just run our cavalry straight past them all. But we'll credit this Nizam. They are fighting despite being entirely surrounded. Rip them down. Yeah, we're going to continue because this is still an existing army. But let's get both the general's bodyguards involved. We don't want this army to uh, run somewhere it can regroup and block us from our offensive. Okay, you guys are on. Still have to be careful about where they run, because there's spikes in the centre of the map. If you guys can knock out those as are, that would be great. Get onto this Kurdish hillman. If you guys can knock out that Nizam before they get to those spikes, that would be great as well. Yeah, maybe you should attack the Nizam light. There we go. Let's give my general's commands just to avoid the unpleasantness. You men ride down some more of these Royal Cairo guards. Good. One last guardsman left. There we go, you chase down that Nizam light. Same with you. You've got one guardsman to kill and you have... What's back here? Oh, the Nizam, they changed uh, course. Very well. You men all chase down the Nizam light. The new guys attacking the 54th Order. I could bring them all over, but I'm not, there's no point. These men should be able to do it. Oh, cuirassiers and their shining breastplates. Slice and dice. There we go. Hurrah! Damn right it was decisive. A... Opposed river crossing. And we did it in splendid style. Onward. Now, this army. You men take up the lead. What? Alright then. Who are you? At the ready. Yeah, you can push me if you like. I've got plenty of stuff. Region captured Flanders. Yep. So yeah. Where were you guys? I'd be looking for artillery. Okay. 
don't want mortars. Okay, then we've got this fella over by Finland. Obviously, we've got some raiders to the north. I mean, that's pretty. You know, he's got a lot of depleted troops in there. Let's just take Finland. So let's replenish you guys. Still, you're still recruiting troops, but I'm going to send all of you up just to go attack that raiding force. And as they get troops, that's where they're going to be sent. They're going to be sent northwards, actually. You guys are probably quite good to have to keep up there as well. The Persians can't get into the Baltic to try and interfere with our with our security. So you men replenish you guys replenish. Let's take this army that's on the bridge. Attack Eric Hallestrom to try and draw in the reinforcing army and then push them east. Then this force can take position on this bridge. There we go, let's do that. Keep the pressure up everywhere. To be honest, we've got so many fights we could do on all of our fronts that we need to keep, just keep pushing everywhere. Just keep pushing. Especially if they give you the opportunity. Because Sweden is going to be um, incredibly surprised when our armies push up through the tundra that they think is impassable. Okay, my Fjolla 2 can stay where they are. How it says push up. I mean, there isn't any better ground, really. I mean, this ground over here is actually pretty good. So push up to about here. Let's give them some troops for protection. Then our main front to advance is here. Our cavalry is going to stay in reserve, depending on where the enemy comes in. The reinforcements come in. Quicklime has already dispatched the leader of these traitorous devils. So there is the enemy on the horizon. In which case, let's just reposition. Actually, nah, that's overkill. Send the most of them over here. Send my guards up here to go knock out the garrison guards. Yeah, that provincial cavalry was. Annihilated. So let's limber out my cuirassier. Their first volley did not kill a single cuirassier. So this infantry that's back here to protect my gunners can instead push up ahead of the tree line. All of you reposition. It's ironic really. Now we know where the enemy's coming in, this this position is actually quite good. Slightly raised above where our foot inf where our um, infantry is going to be. It's about to say foot infantry. It looks like they are. They don't really. Well, they don't want to. They definitely don't want to engage. Who's their lifeguard? Lifeguards of horse. They're heavy cavalry. Our general. I mean, these guys are both hussars. 
Okay, let's speed up time, because right now we are just getting into position. As the enemy forces join us. I mean, if they want to... If they want to do offensive cavalry action, then they can. And I've got my heavy cavalry here as well. You guys leave square. I don't think this is quite what I had in mind. Turn my marines around. The lifeguards of horse have engaged, but we are we our squares are holding. Again, the AI is doing this thing where the my troops are running away from where they need to be. Very well. The rest of my army march up. Nah, you guys stay in square. Don't leave square. You guys hit the militia, you guys hit the European mercenaries entering the field. Two units of lifeguards of horse. Oh, devastating quick climb hit. General's bodyguard's bugging out. He's going to try and hit the 104th. And then you guys swing in to the rear of the lifeguards of horse to give them a bit more encouragement that what they're doing is not necessarily the right thing to do. General's bodyguard has been defeated. Can we kill the general? Hopefully he's right there. Got him. And limber. There we go. So let's deselect all our cavalry. Make sure everyone's out of square formation. There we go. Just keep pushing them back. That's the name of the game. Ooh, pikemen. Hello, pikemen. I have men with guns. Love waiting to see you. All my artillery open up on their 12 pounder foot to the rear. Commit my hussars round to the left. Actually, no, let's commit them in now. Bring these guys, bring these fellows inward. Hussars chase down the militia. my those hussars in the town, get my cuirassiers to push slightly past it. Those musketeers, those pikemen rather, yep, yeah, they're, they're not taking their action too happily. Some regiment of foot also in position. Pursue and destroy the militia. 
Guerrilla mercenaries have been annihilated. You men ain't there. Got some cavalry on the left, but that's not a problem. Get my gunners to engage this unit of pikemen that's charging in. Get this, get this flank unit to form square. They are dragoons, so they might just engage us with musketry. More dragoons. The dragoons are already wavering from the artillery fire. Another cavalry of charge. No, avoid the muskets, avoid the pikes, unless they break, which they have, then excellent. Fairly sure that's everyone on their... Uh, everyone in their army, less a unit of dragoons, so just keep going. Turn off all our artillery. Goons, pikes, infantry. I suppose the infantry unit would technically technically be the better thing to attack. Damn right we're gonna continue. Charge on comrades. Although that cavalry is gonna be the last thing to rout. I wish to kill a whole bunch more pikemen. And then it's that militia unit from way back when. <clears throat> They're still here. Because they're all spread out. Ah, oh, there we go. One left, and there he is. Oh, yeah, they call it right as he's about to get smashed. But there we go. That is the destruction of a Swedish army, which means that they've been pushed back to the peninsula. So let's go and auto-resolve that action. Forward. You men can push to the bridge. Now the territory is secured. We can rebuild the dock. We can rebuild the church. It is one, the right one. Yes, it is. Good. We can rebuild the palatial estate. And that. Sylvester Germain. Okay, so this army is going to be the one to clean up the remnants here. Although we do have Ferdinand de Constantin. His men are going to hold the bridge to prevent these guys from crossing over and doing annoying stuff. But you guys continue to build up your troops. Let's get some Lancer Guards. Not as much of a fan of Lancer Guards because they can't actually do the the post-merge fighting very well. So you could push on into them. Fundamentally, lots of the stuff over here we don't want to do too much messing with. Because they seem to be surviving pre pretty well. I mean, I don't imagine this guy is going to let Prague get away with it for that much longer. But this is why I want to push, take, knock out Spain and start to send troops to go take to take territories like Naples and maybe push into northern Italy. So England's recruiting men. So is Denmark. So is uh, Berlin's recruiting stuff to help this great big block of infantry. Wait a minute, you look familiar. Um, okay, so... You're recruiting artillery, yeah. Recruit artillery and recruit some more conventional artillery because you're right on the front line. But you can push east to secure the bridge or one of the bridge to prevent any pushes through into Hanover. So then these guys can all push south, take out this pocket and swing east 
east and south against the Austrians. I think that's pretty good. Obviously, this guy's got Finland. We're not going to upgrade transport links because we don't want to make it easier to, tra to transport guys around. What we would like to do, which I am doing good, is to uh, build out more of a blockade fleet within the Baltic. Because right now I've got a big heavyweight hitter outside stopping anyone from getting in. But I want to send more ships around to a interdict trade like that, like that trade right there. Destroy breakdown memo. Send sloop cabot to here. Can't interfere back here. Okay, what about this dockyard? Let's take you sail over Raid Palmu to make sure they don't build any ships. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do except hit and turn and see what horrors horrors await us. Yeah, those men are just running straight through Austrian territory <laughs> to get to where they need to be for the replenishment. You've got a lot of problems, Austria. Do I want to incept? Mm, I want to say no because I don't want to fight it. But if I wait, all they all that might happen is they might just bring more um, men into the fight. <laughs> so if I fight it now, there's a chance that the next battle will be a smaller one. So let's put some of our top infantry units into action with some cavalry support then after that i can get a bit mixed up um but cool but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed i'll see you next time for quite a major battle against the austrians too bad prague hasn't uh, got around to building their walls quickly enough radio cheers everyone